Now, businessman Kuben Moodley appeared in the Palmridge Magistrates Court today. He's believed to be the middleman in the regiment's capital trillion corruption saga. Moodley is accused of money laundering the proceeds from contracts improperly awarded by Transnet to regiment's capital and trillion. Reporter Mangoba Mkunu joins us now with the latest on this. Uh, so, Another Gupta associate appearing in court, but his arrest, really dramatic last night. Uh, he was on his way to the, out, uh, to the airport to leave the country. Some say trying to flee the country for Dubai. He says no, going for golf. Uh, tell us about his arrest and the charges he faces. Well, certainly, Sally, that is uh, the claim that was made by Kuban uh, uh, Mutli's lawyers here in court saying that uh, he had actually been on his way to a vacation in Dubai and was by no means trying to flee the country. Of course, he's uh, facing serious charges before this court is facing a Schedule 5 charges uh, related to the uh, corruption linked to transnet as well as regiments. You recall, Sally, that uh, the investigating directorate has been looking into issues of alleged state capture involving uh, some of the transactions at transnet and the allegations are that uh, Kuban Moodley had benefited uh, 230 million worth of kickbacks from uh, the likes of a trillion uh, for merely setting up appointments between the executives of these companies uh, together with uh, the Gupta associate Salim Essa, of course, who has been mired in many of these uh, controversies. So he was the instrumental figure in as far as setting up the meetings between those companies where we know that uh, in the end regiments uh, scored uh, tenders and projects worth over one billion rand. So this is one of the key men that has been fingered in this particular corruption and uh, the investigating director saying that he's going to be facing serious charges, charges of money laundering, charges of theft, as well as corruption. But take a listen to what Cindy Siwetwala had to say on those charges. He is charged with several counts of fraud, uh, theft, as well as money laundering. Additionally, Mr. Kventer and Moodley, uh, we've submitted to the court uh, through the charge sheet that we submitted that uh, we believe that he benefited to the tune of about uh, 307 million rand, which we believe is money for absolutely nothing uh, for various transactions that involve uh, a transnet, a state-owned entity, which could have benefited from that amount of money, as well as a trillion and regiments, as well as the transnet second defined benefit fund which is essentially a fund for uh, pensioners of transnet or to assist with the pension money rather of transnet so we're saying it cannot be that uh, an individual can benefit about 307 million rand for doing absolutely nothing all right so um Mangoba, so kuban moodley arrested last night on his way to the airport was he granted bail surely not well, he was granted bail, Sally, and this is after the state had been dis uh, denied an opportunity perhaps to make its arguments. The state earlier on had uh, made a request for, to the court to say that it wants to argue its case against his bail on Friday. This is because it says that there were still some outstanding investigations. It was still uh, were awaiting uh, some cell phone records from the experts and a report from the experts from, from his uh, cell phone records. Uh, but also the issue of his assets also came into the fore. Uh, the state revealing that it was actually not sure about the assets that he had. There were reports that he did not have any assets outside of the country, and that's according to some of his arguments in his bail application. But uh, the state saying that it wants more time to dig deeper into his financial records and to ascertain whether or not uh, this was true. But also the issue of uh, the deposit boxes, which understand that um, uh, the investigating directorate last year had uh, uh, been granted an order to restrain some of those uh, uh, assets or deposit box that Salima, uh, that uh, uh, Moodley owns. And uh, we understand that uh, from that order, Sally, actually Moodley happened to actually use three of those uh, deposit box to make some transactions from them. So this issue came as a matter of question before the court. But of course, the court felt that uh, the state should have been well prepared to hear this matter and that uh, it was simply not good enough to ask for a postponement, he was granted bail on those grounds, Sally, uh, because the state did not or was not ready to, put, to go ahead with this uh, arguments today. All right. Uh, let's take a listen to that clip. The court finds at present 
that the state has not shown that it is the interest of justice to postpone the matter for investigation and keep Mr. Moodley in custody in the meantime. Uh, he is in no way needed in custody for the state to do the investigations in respect to the cell phones. Um, there isn't a likelihood that he can interfere with these um, cell phones. Yes, there are allegations that the state says that he has wiped information off the cell phones in the past, that is now past conduct. Um, but the, even in the light of this past conduct, he cannot do so anymore. These cell phones are now in possession of the state. Um, thus the application for postponement in terms of section 50 in bracket 6 of the Criminal Procedure Act is refused. All right, I guess we'll have to see uh, what the next step is. So he's been granted bail. Uh, when is the matter back in court? Well, certainly the matter will be back in court on the 28th of February. The state requesting a long postponement. It says it wants to conclude some of those investigations into his cell phone as well as uh, his assets. And uh, just to uh, speak on those bail terms, and he was given bail of 150,000 rand, but with strict conditions, of course, to hand over his passport to the police as well as to report to the police between 6 uh, in the morning and 6 in the afternoon. So his matter will be back in court on the 28th of February. Thank you very much. Uh, that is our reporter, Mangoba Mkunu, there.